the dropouts need more heat, but if you go too hot right off the bat, you're for sure gonna burn the chain stay. With a fine arts background and an interest in fabrication, it was a part-time course in welding that got Danielle interested in working with metal. I remember being the only woman in the classroom. It can be hard. Uh, it can really make you feel like maybe you're not supposed to be there. You develop a thick skin and focus and you are there for yourself to learn. But being a minority didn't stop her. Danielle, who is also a bike enthusiast, took a bike frame building course and everything just clicked from there. Uh, forged my own steel. I fabricated my own lug set. Which, and I actually enjoyed the process so much. It just is like such a amalgamation of all of these different aspects of the things that I like in art and fabrication. And then you're gonna grab your top tube. Danielle opened Sean's studio in Squamish, BC. She's one of a few female bike frame builders in North America and the only woman in Canada teaching. She's a total badass in her biking, but also her frame building. You can extend yeah. if you want. I mean, it's pretty cool and inspiring to be here, honestly. Yeah, there's like a lot of old white guys making bikes around the place. So like, it's kind of cool to be here uh, learning from someone who isn't that, and just the perspective in general you get from that. Since the chain stays and everything are ready to go. And Danielle has, you know, a great combination of so many strengths to make this course uh, a very unique one. I'll put my torch right under there. It's been a really wide range of people that have been taking the courses. Um, the, the common thread is that everyone is a bike enthusiast. Get your filler in right underneath, so touch it to the dropout. I've been playing around with bike geometries for a while. So I've, uh, I, I basically am a very large person dimension-wise on a bike, so most standard frames don't fit me. Filler right, right in the middle there. I took it because I was annoyed with not actually being able to weld, braze, fix my own stuff. So the balance has been mostly men. The gender uh, split is improving a little bit. Um, I have had uh, some female students tell me that they wanted to do this for a long time, but they took the course because it was me teaching. Just yeah. lock it and then you can come back up and like re-ratch it. Into the two week frame building foundations course is open to anyone with any skill level. I mean, the journey of the course was described at the start like kind of like a roller coaster. So there's highs and lows. I think mostly it was riding a high. Through the whole process, you know that you're making a bicycle for yourself and then, and you know that you're going to come out with a bicycle but it's really like the last day is very celebratory and people are holding their frames and kind of looking at them in awe <laughs> <laughs> you know she forewarned us that we would make mistakes but you know i'm, I'm really pleased with the with the finished product and uh and proud actually of, of what i've made so you see yeah. this is going yeah, kind of going clear, clear now yeah. i got a long way to go sharon bates global news